Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I would like to talk for a minute about these internet doctors, medical doctors on the internet. Now there's a whole bunch of them out there and they're talking about, you know, this uh, thing we, the problem we have, the infectious disease we had a problem with for years and years. And, you know, they're getting shut down left and right because <clears throat> you don't go and talk about that stuff. But those aren't the guys I'm talking about. I'm talking about, you know, guys like Dr. McCola. He's not so bad, but he's a medical doctor. And he talks a lot about health, which is great, but he's a medical doctor. And then one that kind of kind of bugs me a little bit is this guy, Dr. Gundry. So he's all over the place. I don't know who's behind him. I don't know where all this money comes from. More power to him. Um, I'm not against him. He seems like a nice guy and everything, but they keep asking him, Dr. Gundry, you know, what should I take for protein? Well, how would Dr. Gundry know about that? Dr. Gundry, what, what kind of green should I eat? Oh, the more bitter, the better. Okay, that's true. Where did he get that from? Not medical school. So it's really, it's this patina of authority, and it is a patina <laughs> of authority that medical doctors have, and suddenly they're telling you how to be healthy. They don't know how to be healthy. They don't teach you that in medical school, period. How many hours of nutrition training did you get in medical school or medical training? That's how many. Yeah, it was how exactly. to read the recommended daily allowances on the back. It of the was. Yeah. They don't teach you, uh, you know, what about nutrition in medical school. And to get your medicine. They might have maybe one or two hours about nutrition, at the most. Well, I've been studying this for the last 25 years now, and one of the reasons that I became a naturopathic doctor is so I'd have some kind of authority. And because I liked it and I liked going through it, it was really difficult. I became a certified nutrition consultant, a certified master herbalist, and then a naturopathic doctor. I tell people all the time, mostly what I know about health is through experience. So you can study all day long about these things. And, you know, they look good on paper. You got to try it yourself. Then you'll know for sure. And that's what 80% of what I know comes from my experience. But a medical doctor, they're just getting on the internet and reading the stuff and watching the videos that guys like I do, you know, because otherwise they just have this, you know, they come out with their lab coat and their stethoscope around their necks. They make proclamations about health, yet they know nothing about it that they haven't learned outside of medical school. So why would you listen to them? They're kind of, you know, stealing what I do. I don't, I don't resent it or anything. I say the more, the, the more, the merrier, the, the more people out here talking about true health, the better. But doesn't it sh tell you everything you kind of need to know about the medical world is that for them to talk about health, they kind of got to steal what we, we talk about. You don't hear them coming out and talking about, you know, the latest drugs and the latest, you know, uh, th therapy for this or the latest type of chemotherapies or radiation. He doesn't talk about that because th those things don't lead to health. So he's a medical doctor who talks about health things. So he's a medical doctor hiding behind the medical profession and trying to steal what I do for a living, which is naturopathy. Naturopathy is just what? Following nature. That's how you're healthy. That's how you, you know, really in the end, you got to follow nature to be healthy. So, so as I said, for how many years, the medical world is in one direction, the health world is in the other direction. These guys don't know anything about what I do. They get out of medical school and then they start talking about diet and exercise. Diet and what kind of diet? What kind of exercise? Yeah, it was learning the food pyramid. Uh, you know, eat uh, eat less, exercise more. Exactly. Yeah. They don't know until they go study it from somebody like myself or get on there and start reading or other. There's tons of other guys that are out there doing this sort of thing and talking about natural health. And that's all they can do. They they're just posers. They're fakes. Then they're hiding behind that patina. So I'll tell you what. There. Does that make it better? Have I got the authority now because I got a, a lab coat? I don't have a lab and a stethoscope. <laughs> okay. This is what they've got. Sometimes they take pictures of themselves in the grocery store in the produce section as if in, in medical school they tell you, make sure you go to the produce section and that's where all the healthy stuff is. All they've got, it, they learn none of this in medical school. And just so you know, I mean, if I get in an accident, I want a medical doctor. If I cut my foot off while I'm mowing the lawn or get hurt, I want a medical doctor. That's what they're good for in emergencies. Get in a, you know, they kind of threaten you sometimes. Say, oh, you know, you, you, you don't like to take our, our vaxes. You don't like this. You don't like that. You don't, you don't believe in our, our medical world. Well, you know, next time you get hurt on the highway, well, just you're going to have to bleed to death. Now, some people are saying kids who aren't vaccinated shouldn't be allowed to go to school or daycare or 
uh, you know, go to public places, but I don't, here's where I think it should go. If you are one of those people who knows more than doctors, that's fine, no vaccinations, but you're not allowed to go to the doctor anymore. <laughs> if you fall and you cut your head open, you will not be admitted to the emergency room. <laughs> the doctor will see you never. What? No soup for you. Oh, by the way, you should also let your kids smoke. Get your kids vaccinated or lose my number. Get your kids. That's been going on for a while. But this doesn't give me any more authority. And the fact that these guys are medical doctors, like Mercola, which I'm not knocking the guy or anything, but he's, he's helped the world in, in a healthy way by following healthy things. He has never helped the world by being a medical doctor, the kind he is. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't help. Following down that path of medicine never helps. It's always the wrong path to go down. It's always the wrong direction. It's that direction, not this direction. You want to go in the, in the, in the, in the direction of health, okay? And so I could put this on and I could proclaim to you, now look at me, a picture of authority, but these guys come out and they start talking about health and they learned it all from guys like me. And I don't really have anything against it. I just wanted to point that out because stop listening to medical doctors for health advice. They know nothing about it. Dr. Bob, a naturopath, I'll see you next time. That's according to doctors, so, you know, <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. This game show is called Guess What's In My Pants. Now, I've stubbed something in my pants, and you're allowed to feel around on the outside of the pants. You have 10 seconds to then guess what is in my pants. Insanity, craziness, or madness is a spectrum of behaviors characterized by certain abnormal mental or behavioral patterns. Insanity may manifest as violations of societal norms, including a person becoming a danger to themselves or others. And Check out all my books on audible.com.